Hi friends, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. In our last tutorial, we have seen uh, cursor introduction. There we have seen what is cursor, what are, you know, how we can open the cursor, how we can declare the cursor first, then how we can open the cursor, then how we will fetch the value in our cursor. So we have seen, you know, all the definitions there. So today we are going to learn about uh, implicit cursor. Whoever is not knowing about the cursor, I'll recommend them uh, to go and watch that tutorial first. I'll give you a link in description below. Then come to this place and uh, you know start learning about implicit cursor so today we will be actually discussing about implicit cursor what is implicit cursor whenever we run dml command a cursor get created by uh, oracle itself okay so that cursor is actually implicit cursor we don't have any control on that cursor but somehow we can you know we can take advantage of that cursor actually so in this tutorial we are going to see what are the advantages of implicit cursor and you know how we can you know take advantage of that so actually cursor is having three attributes basically percent found percent not found and percent row count percent found means it returns true if the last dml is successful last dml means if you are in, uh, running insert command or delete command or uh, you know update command so in that case if the last dml command is true uh, successful it will return as the value as true uh, this is a, a boolean value actually okay and it will return false if last dml command is unsuccessful uh, and what is not percent for percent not found it returns true if last dml is unsuccessful this is quite opposite to percent found actually okay it returns true when last com dml command is unsuccessful and it returns false if last dml command is successful all right now the third one is percent row count what is this last dml affected by uh, you know affected how many rows suppose you have uh, here i have written that suppose you have we have run a delete command okay so with this delete command how many rows get deleted we can found using this we can find find using this percent row count actually okay and if uh, we we are running update command so using that update command how many you know rows get updated and if we are running insert command so using insert command how many uh, row get inserted so these things we can get using percent row count attribute actually okay so this these are the three attributes important and you know very useful in attributes actually now let's come down here i have written an example a sim simple example of implicit cursor where i have declared a variable uh, v underscore emp id this is from emp table this is actually uh, anchor ta tag if you are not knowing about anchor tag i have already uh, you know make a video on anchor tag i'll give you a link in description below go and watch that video all right so this is anchor tag through this anchor tag i'm i'm you know uh, declaring this variable that this is of which data type and size of the data type by uh, table itself all right so uh, this is our variable v underscore emp id here what i'm doing i'm just uh, i just have written a delete command delete from emp where employee id is equal to v underscore emp id so we have to initialize the vmp id here so what i'll write here v emp id is equal to any id suppose uh, you know 110 and then so this 110 will get deleted from here so what it will what will happen here i'm using percent found so how we can write percent found we have to write sql then percent found okay this is our actually implicit cursor sql is our implicit cursor so sql percent found then uh, successfully deleted else employee not present okay so if we will get any data data then it will we will get output as successfully deleted but if we will not get any data we will say that employee not present okay so hope this example is clear to you now let's copy this control c and paste in our sql workshop here control v so before that let me you know let me uh, show you the employee data first so for that i have to do select star from emp and run this query so as you can see we have these many data so we are going to delete this 110 okay john so our employee get started from 108 109 110 let me do order by order by one yeah, so 108, 109, 110, then uh, all the employees are like this. Okay, so we are going to delete employee which is having employee ID as 110. Okay, so let's run this command and run this. So we got error as 
equal to okay because we have the thing what we have initialized here is wrong whenever we are initializing we have to write colon then equal to then this 110 get assigned to this variable and we can use this variable okay so hope this error is clear to you now uh, run it again run it yeah so as you can see we got output as successfully deleted okay and our row get deleted but and we got the output successfully deleted so this is how you know our cursor work implicit cursor actually now let's uh, take another example where we will be taking it as 100 we don't have any employee as employee id 100 so let's run this query in this at this time we'll get employee not present okay let's run this so as you can see employee not present actually our statement get processed but the thing is and nothing has been deleted because employee was not at all present in the table so hope this implicit cursor and example is clear to you uh, for any confusion or doubt let me know in comment box you will get all the necessary links in uh, description below okay and you will get the this code as well i i'll give you the link of my application from where you can uh, you know get the code okay so that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much